You cannot go over a handoff. Either Maxie's going underneath and meeting Struess on the other side, or we're just going to switch this right here, and Maxie's going to go underneath and battle. I'll have help in the gaps here. I have help in the gaps right here for Embiid. But you're giving up a two-on-one. So now Embiid goes to contest. Because Maxie's went over the top, he's now being boxed out for that offensive rebound. There's no excuse for Joel Embiid to get out sprinted by Jared Allen. If you're sprinting back, you're fine. Joel Embiid is l jogging back at this current time. And to give up two on ones. If you're DeAnthony Melton, I'm underneath. Embiid is up. I have Batum's got to get over in the gaps. Tobias Harris in the gaps. You're fine. But you give up two on ones. Like, what, is this surprising to anyone? What is Tobias Harris doing exactly here? Why is he giving Darius Garland this angle right here? If that's going to happen, then DeAnthony Melton's got to get over here. I got, I got. There's got to be no place for Darius. I can stunt. I can recover. But you can't hug the three-point line. If Tobias Harris is... If you are Robert Covington, you need to get underneath when you switch. Tyrese Maxey should be up. Robert Covington is switching over the top. So now Max Struess is about to fly off a flare screen. You're beat. Like, you're not going to get over in time. <laughs> if you're DeAnthony Melton here, we're not worried about the basketball when it's across half court like this, okay? I'm just getting back right now, sprinting to the three-point line. See, you're jogging and slowing down with the basketball. If I'm sprinting back, now Tyrese Maxey can get over here and force Craig Porter into some help. But you're not there because you jogged. I cannot get back to the middle of nowhere if I'm Daniel Howes Jr. right here in transition. Get over here and take Tristan Thompson. What is Daniel Howes Jr. doing? Oh, it's a disaster if you're Nicholas Batum. So Darius Garland's coming off this down screen. So I'm attached to Darius Garland's hip. And Paul Reed's got to get attached and show. So Batum is initially here trying to go up the gut. So he's going to be, and Paul Reed's not attached, showing or switching or whatever. So Garland comes off this, it's right to the rim. What are the 76ers doing? Stop. Paul Reed is coming up and switching. Jaden Springer is fine. He's going to battle Tristan Thompson. You'll have help in the gaps right here if you're Paul Reed. I mean, you, you, I don't know. Paul Reed's like switching, and then you're like switching back. Like, what? Okay, I can always hedge a ball screen towards the sideline. Joel Embiid can get up. I'm going to have backside help here. The second Max Struess hesitates, which is going to be quickly because the sideline's right there, Joel Embiid can recover and push the backside defender back. But you're doing this thing where I give up two-on-ones. the Sixers doing? Tobias Harris needs... Joel Embiid switching. He needs to get up. Okay, I'm not giving Darius Garland the lane. And what is DeAnthony Melton doing? See, D Joel Embiid needed to be up. DeAnthony Melton's here. So there's and now I'm stunting and recovering the dribbles picked up. But Joel Embiid's nowhere to be found on the switch. DeAnthony Melton's doing God knows what. And now Darius Garland's in the lane. Marcus Morris does a great job sprinting back here. Stop. So he's taking Darius Garland. So now DeAnthony Melton knows, okay, so I'm communicating now. I'm coming over to take Darius Garland. Now this whole time, Nicholas Batum can't be staring at the ball. He needs to be sprinting to the three-point line. Nicholas Batum is jogging. So if I sprinted to the three-point line with my back to the baseline, DeAnthony Melton needed to get over here quicker. But now I'm in the gaps. I can. St there's no place for Max Struess to go. But pfft. is everybody for Philadelphia across half court right here? Just get back. There's four seconds left. Just get back. Everybody back. Mark, every, look at this. Everyone, four people guarding the ball. It's up. Stop running. Drop coverage. Up. Tobias Harris is under. I'm going to be in the gaps. Uh, Tobias Harris switches under. He's in the gaps. Why am I giving up open threes? Why? a terrible switch. It's guard to guard. If you're Tyrese Maxey, get your hands off the screener. I gotta be, oh, like, hands, I should be over here ready to guard. And what's Batum doing? Backs to the, no, back to the baseline and over, so I'm in the gaps. How, this is if you're Robert Covington, you do not need to be guarding above the three-point line away from the ball. And if I'm going to go over this down screen, all I'm doing is staying attached to Darius Garland's hip. And Tobias Harris is going to show. And that's fine. Or we could switch this because it's wing to wing. But you're trying to get over this down screen early. So now you're beat back door. Again, the never-ending drop coverage. Joel Embiid can get up. I have now Tyrese Max needs to get beneath the three-point line. I have nothing but help here. So I can get up. I can force Darius Garland to help right here. Okay? Daniel Howes is fine on Tristan Thompson. Instead, you just give up open three. Every ball screen, open three. Every ball screen.
What is Philadelphia? You switch here. Paul Reed is up and switching. Patrick Beverly's in the gaps. Why are the 76ers switching and then saying, whoops, never mind, let's switch back? What? This is when you're unprepared, when you're poorly coached. You can't talk and think about switches. Every time House Jr. and Tyrese Max are involved in a screen, we're going to switch this. Every time. You talk, you think about switching, and then two people go to the ball. Again, this is a very simple action. Paul Reed, what is he doing? I'm attached and showing. Max Struess, if he curls off this screen, Max, he has no time to get over. Like... <laughs> Again, so instead of switching, where Joel Embiid is already over here, ready to guard, and DeAnthony Melton's underneath, and Patrick Beverly's going to be in the gaps, and DeAnthony Melton will be in the gaps when he switches right here, Joel Embiid's got to come all the way over here to take Darius Garland. Stop. So look at the options you have. Joel Embiid's got to guard two people. So what, am I supposed to take Garland and Jared Allen's open? Or, uh, this is trash. Okay, so the 76ers are switching right here. Where is Patrick Beverly going? Just stay out here. Why are you entering the paint? So now Darius Garland's about to fly across the three-point line. How about we just mirror him along the three-point line? We don't need to go above the three-point line to chase. So now Darius Garland's got you beat and gets this three off at the end. Okay, again, this drop coverage is decrepit. Why can't Tobias Harris get up? Patrick Beverly's underneath. He can handle Jared Allen, okay? I'm going to have help in the gaps right here. If I need to force Darius Garland here, there's no place to go, all right? You give up two-on-ones. So what are you... Don't go over a handoff here. Again, this is guard to guard. Why is this not a switch? If you're not going to switch, Tyrese Maxey's got to go under and meet Struess on the other side. This is complete nonsense. And what? So Tobias Harris is switching. Thank God. So again, I'm coming into this game. Every time this is a screen, we're switching. It does not matter. You talk, you think about switches. So now Tobias Harris is up switching and no one taking Evan Mobley. Just boxing out. Could Patrick Beverly please box out Jared Allen? Could Embiid please box out? Could anyone on Philadelphia please box out? Like this is... Cleveland gets another chance.